What's going on YouTube? Spinkster Cell here. It's actually been quite a while since I've done an unboxing on my channel. So in this video I got a few things obviously from Amazon that I needed. It was just some things that I'm working on. I'm improving my black loadout going for kind of a phase 2 kind of thing. So I got some stuff that is going to be an add-on to that. But either way, let's just get it open. Alright, so I actually don't remember what I ordered. So the first thing in here... No, I gotta actually open it. Oh yeah, this! I forgot what this was. Now I remember. This is a patch wall. Because, obviously, I've been getting a lot of patches from AliExpress.com. It's, it's like a little cheat code, in my opinion, because they're so cheap. It's like a dollar, a few cents for a patch. And I just order them. They're iron-on patches. I go to the Home Depot. I get the Velcro. I put it on there, I cut the Velcro, and then I make, you know, my own patches so that I can stick them onto my loadout. And I have so many from AliExpress. I'm trying to get more, and my collection is growing. So in this video, it kind of will double up as a slight unboxing, as well as like a patch collection, like, overview. So you can get a look at all the patches that I have. Now that is my patch wall. I forgot the size, but I'll just put it on there. I have links to everything, of course, because I got everything on Amazon. Now, what else is next? This is actually a replacement mask. My new Bakalava. And this one is actually going to match this time. It is a Multicam Black Bakalava. And I'm probably saying that wrong. I've been saying it wrong for years. Anyway, the black one that I had was really elastic -y. I've had it for a very, very long time. And it would put a lot of stress on my nose because of how elastic -y it was. So this is kind of like an Under Armour type material. I have another mask that's the same breathable, breathable material, and um, it should be really comfortable. And I'll have a demo of that later, of course, when we have the black loadout all put together. So that's, that feels pretty good. Um, it wasn't that expensive, of course. The next thing here is a Multicam black hat. And this one is going to match, of course, because what I'm actually wearing right now is my Lancer Tactical hat that I got from, uh, what was it, Fox Airsoft. Yeah, they sent me that one. So I got my Metal Gear Solid patch on there, one of my favorite patches. And then I'll get the matching Metal Gear Solid patch, probably for this one, in the glow in the dark to match the whole black loadout. So that is a Condor hat. Um, I wanted to get one for specifically Velcro in the front, a little square on the top for like the Copperhead or the American Milsom patches, the little ones and twos, and then a name pad on the back. So I wanted to make sure I had that. And that one with like the breathable mesh, which is like cheaper and uglier, and I just didn't want that. So pretty good looking hat so far. Um, it looks pretty nice. That should match with everything else. And hold up. Oh yeah, there's actually one more part, which is another patch, like an actual patch. That is shipping separately, probably because it's a custom patch. It's actually my name tag. I was hoping it was going to be in this box so I can put on the hat, but I wasn't paying close enough attention to my emails. It's coming later, so I'll combine that later. Um, another thing is I got this, which I'm not sure if I could show it on YouTube or not, but um, a lot of people at Fighter Town have been getting those and, you know, spicing up their loadouts, spicing up their magazines, and I think there's like, how many in here? Like, I think there's like 300 in here or something like that. So I'm going to give some of those out. Um, now I'm going to gather all of my patches and see if they fit on this patch wall. I, they definitely should. I think I'll absolutely have room for more patches to come in the future. And um, I should say in this video while I have a chance, if you'd like to send me a patch, say like your team loadout or just any random patch, if you send them in, I will wear them and do a shout out in a gameplay if you want me to do that. I just wanted to say, before I take the patches off this helmet, I just want to show this this helmet setup that I had going for a while. I was working on my green loadout, and I got a little bit of a setback because my BDU from Evike was just utter trash. And so I have to sell that BDU, so I just thought this helmet was looking fantastic. The working contacts, and then the, um, the skin for my Hero 3 case actually fit on my 
Hero 8 case that I got from Amazon. Um, it actually it didn't fit the best, but then again, it didn't fit too good on the other one. So, and then I actually um, added Velcro here and here and painted it green. And uh, oh, actually on the top as well. So I added like Velcro to all three of those places to add as many patches as possible. I actually bought this helmet used from Comrade Forcelander. All right, as you might be able to tell, it has gotten a little darker. It has taken me that long, actually, to organize this. But here it is. This is my entire Airsoft patch collection. Um, in the upper left corner is like my personal six echelon patches, and then below that, Copperhead. Um, to the right of my patches are some team patches. I only have a few uh, video game related patches. That would just be the Metal Gear Solid ones. Some were sent to me from Fox Airsoft, like these two up here. And then some were given to me by friends, like this one, and then these two from Comrade Forcelander. And then the rest were mostly from AliExpress.com, um, and then one from uh, Fox Airsoft. But I'm going to take the camera off the tripod, and we're going to get a little bit closer so you can take a closer look. And I will have links to AliExpress in case you don't already know about them. So in the upper corner, my patches, my very first homemade 6 echelon patch printed in with velcro then my official six echelon patch and then a test prototype in white fear airsoft patch then my copperhead flag patch uh, flag patch from comrade force thunder this patch was given to me by fear airsoft they play at fighter town with us XJK Airsoft sent that one in. Fox Airsoft sent these two in. These are the Battle Gear patches. This one's an absolute favorite of mine. I'm going to get that one in Glow in the Dark for the Black Hat. These two patches from Comrade Force Thunder. I really like this patch a lot. I really like this one a lot. I've yet to put the Velcro on it. Some of these don't have the Velcro yet. And um, of course, like I get the Velcro, uh, not that one, one of these from the Home Depot. And then I would put it on, I would like take the plastic part off, stick it on there, and then um, cut off the edges with scissors and then do it again on the sides with like another strip. I would come in and then like kind of do it like that and then cut around it and that's how most of the patches end up so they're not the the cleanest of cuts and they don't stick to the loadout as well when you rip them back off it might um might have some issues but otherwise like it's working out and i'm able to play and rub my shoulders up against the walls and they don't like fall off or anything i even put patches on my guns and they seem to to work out just fine All right, so we have an update. We got the last patch in. This is the custom one that I ordered on Amazon. Turned out to be a bit overpriced for what it is. Now, this is actually a multicam black patch. You can see it's my name, Spinkster Cell. Let's take a look at this real quick. It's a bit overpriced for what it is because it is a custom patch. Now, and it's actually a little disappointing because right where the thread ends right there, it's like, it was like dangling off and frayed and now it might come undone, which is really annoying. Another thing is that the actual camouflage, you could barely even see it. Like there's a tiny bis, bit of green there, a little green up top here, and then it kind of fades away. But otherwise, it's supposed to be multicam black. And like you can barely tell, it just looks like a dirty black patch. So a bit overpriced, maybe it's just random. And then depending on the letters, maybe it'd be a bit different.
when on an actual multicam black hat, and this is my new one, of course, all black everything. And there you go. As long as it's on the back and you can see the multicam around it, you should be able to tell. Yep, that is the final patch in my patch collection. Hope you enjoyed, and if you'd like to send in patches, let me know, and we'll work on that. Also, if you'd like me to review any airsoft guns, mail them in. Maybe we could do something like that. And uh, I can review guns, maybe play with them. And then if you want them back or to let me keep them, we can work on that as well. So thanks for watching, and stay tuned for some more gameplay. Logistics of rum bags and AKs. Well, Bob the ass man never come back to Airsoft G9. Magpul on AK? Will there be a copperhead set? Tech ever make a gun that doesn't break? Where did all the AKs go?